I only got one! Cable Guy here. Today I'll be showing you how to make the storage monitor trapeze. Once you find your location, I like to start with the triangle. The triangle is important because it's the location your door will be facing. Place three triangles, followed by four square foundations like a 2x2, two two, and then add a backroom optionally if you want to watch the victims. Now place your single door, and then wall the rest of the base. Please take a moment to like the video. These take a lot of work to make. I'm happy to do it. You guys are always asking in the comments. So here it is. Okay, now you want to put the ceilings. And when you get to the third triangle, make sure that you raise it because that's where the triangle letter hatch will be with our shotgun. And then just normal ceiling tiles everywhere else. Put down your TC in this room, however you like, and then do this double door arches all over the base. Now back at the front of the base, we want to put a ladder hatch. Make sure to put your shotgun trap first facing it down. I like it exactly like this. And then also put a door controller right next to it. Make sure you unlock the ladder hatch and then pair the device. Don't forget to close it. Okay, now just put the rest of the single door frames, just like so, and put your second door controller on this door. Now it's time to decorate the trap base. One of the viewers dropped in a comment a great tip for hiding your storage monitor. You put a research table first, rotate your large box so that the storage monitor will be completely hidden out of sight. And I like to add a furnace to the right of it to give players even more reason to come in here. The Tesla coils are optional. If you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to show you another way to do this a lot easier. But for you guys that want to do the electricity, I like to put my bear rugs with the head kind of halfway in the ground. And that allows me to hide the Tesla coils right inside. Because we're going to be using Teslas, we need a lot of power. So we're going to use a large battery. And next, take five root combiners, that's the red one, and put them in line just like this. Make sure to connect the top of the left one to the bottom of the one on the right. Place down your six solar panels, try to hide them the best you can, and make sure they're facing north. Now hook up each root combiner to its respective solar panel. If you did it all correctly, they should all light up, and the last one should show 120 power. Connect that power to the entry of your battery. For the electrical components, follow exactly as I do here. Start with one green memory cell, three electrical branches, followed by a splitter, and above that you want to put a timer. Now put your Tesla button right on the shop front, and then the other button, you can put it anywhere you like, really. This is going to be your trap reset button. Now for the wiring portion of this tutorial, connect the top of the electrical branch to each other to pass on the power. Take the first one, make sure it has five power on the left connector. Connect that to the bottom of your green memory cell. Then the one further to the right, connect the right output of it to the electrical input of the timer. The top of the timer should connect to the top of the splitter, just like I did here. Now connect the bottom of each splitter to each one of the Tesla coils. Try to hide the wire as best as you can. 
and then just plugging in the second Tesla coil, we would not use the third part of the splitter. They'll stay empty. Now hook up the Tesla button from the shop front. Again, trying to hide that wire as best as you can to the side of the timer. Now we'll take the output, the right side of the memory cell and plug that in to the triangle hatch door opener. Then take the top of it, the pass through and connect it to the other door controller. And we are almost done. Take the reset out of the memory cell and put that on your reset button. And then the last thing is take the set option out of the memory cell and that's going to go to the output of our storage monitor. The storage monitor does need power so while you're there plug in the power in option and that's going to go to the top of the second black electrical branch. And now that our battery has been charging this whole time, we're going to take the output and we'll put it at the bottom of the very first left electrical branch. Notice everything lights right up. And in the very final step, click with the cable on your timer and set it to five seconds. That should be plenty to get rid of the bad guys. And that is it guys, that's our tutorial. So as you can see here, the bad guy will come in. Once they take or any item out of the box, it's going to open our double door and drop down our ladder hatch behind them. That's gonna lock them in. If you don't wanna use the Tesla coils, you can certainly just put a shotgun trap or a flame turret right behind the double doors. It will get the job done just as good. Hope you guys enjoyed this trap. Best of luck out there. Drop me in the comments if you have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time.